Hello, welcome to Pilates Mat Work. Today, we're gonna to be focusing a lot on the upper body. So we're gonna have a lot of scapular stability movements. We'll still get into the core as we always do. And um, a lot of planking and side planking. So because of that, if you are someone that needs a little bit of wrist support and you have a wedge, um, these wedges are really nice if you need those. You put your hand here, lifting. Otherwise, just go at your pace. And if you're someone who has short arms, because maybe you're a short person, we'll do side um, kneeling today as well. A block can help you with that stability. Otherwise, no props, props, not props, props, no props are needed. Let's get going. So from here, I'm just going to take my feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Good. And we're just going to let the body just kind of sway side to side. Your belly button is in. Let the hips and everything move with you. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, let's take a big inhale and reach. Exhale and come down. And inhale and reach. Exhale and come down. Good. I'm just going to bring my feet in a little bit closer. Big inhale. Exhale and squat. Drive through the heels. And lower Good. Now we're going to stay with the squat, but you can change your arms here. So maybe as you squat, maybe take some circles. And if you took circles, maybe reverse those circles. Good. Maybe just take it out to the side. Good, and then just forward and back, no circle. Good, from here coming up, let's take our arms out to the side. Let's find some rotation. So notice if you have a tendency to rotate more from the elbow and less from the shoulder. So I rotate more from the shoulder on one side and less on the other because of different limitations. So it's just kind of fun and nice to know that. Palms up, hands to the shoulders. Let's take some other circles here. Breathing, belly button in. So we don't want to flop the chest around like a fish. Let's take that in the other direction. Good. Let's take the elbows out to the side. Going into chicken wings, we're going to lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift. Good. Let's come into goal post here. So I'll kind of show you this from the front and to the side. So as I bring my arms forward, if you can touch them together, that's great. But I want to think about a separating of the shoulder blades. And then as I open, I want to think about touching the shoulder blades. So from the side view, it looks like this. Good. So take a few of those. Good, and just roll in other direction. All right, let's take this into a little bit of a vitality wheel here. So I'm gonna bring my feet in about hip width apart. Good, arms are just gonna dangle and they're just gonna do what they're gonna do. And I'm just gonna rotate over to my left. I'm gonna roll down. I'm gonna let my knees bend a little bit here, moving through center, coming to the other side. Maybe opening up, I'm gonna open here, and then I'm just gonna take that down. Good, and we'll open. We'll do one more time through. These just feel good. And we'll come back to the side we started on. Good. And come all the way up, good. We are going to come to the edge of our mat and start our roll downs, rolling out into a plank today. So feet can be hip width apart. They can be zipped up together. They can be in the Pilates V. You choose where you would like to practice. Zipping up through the front body. I'm in V. My back side is tight and connected. My front side is tight and connected. Rolling shoulders back. Inhale, exhale, nodding the chin down. I'm thinking about peeling my spine off a wall, bone by bone. I'm trying not to hinge the hips over the ankles. Good. 
coming to the limit, or you can always bend your knees here as you need to. I'm pressing into the floor from hip to heel and from the tailbone. I'm gonna roll that back up. Thinking about pressing one bone at a time back onto that wall. Coming back up. Inhale and reach. Exhale. Arms stay by the ears as you roll it down. Now think about as you roll down here, we're gonna do this seated in a moment. So the principles are the same. You're just seated versus standing. Let's come all the way up. Let's open into that little back bend. This time we're gonna roll it down. We're gonna stay down. So reach and rolling it down. Walk that out to the plank. Knees lifted or grounded. And we're gonna hold for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take that back down dog, long legs or bent knees. I'm pressing in and forward into my mat. I'm rooting through the knuckles of pinky pointer and thumb. My head and neck is free. Inhale, exhale, move that back forward into a plank. And 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take it back down dog. Inhale, looking forward, bending the knees, coming down into all fours. We're gonna do a little bit of sternum drops here. We're gonna do this two ways. The first way is we're just gonna be up here on all fours and we're just gonna let the chest drop to the floor. Shoulders come by the ears when you do that. And then I'm gonna press that floor away and drop and press and drop and press and drop and press and drop and press. You can do another round of those or maybe coming onto the forearms this time. Good, so starting by pressing the floor away and drop and press and drop and press and drop and press and drop and press. Take that back child pose. Maybe just kind of wiggle out or shake out the wrist here. And while we're here, let's go into our first balance challenge. So from here, coming into all fours. Good. So I'm gonna make sure my knees are under the hips. I'm gonna take my right foot back. Let's use the opportunity to stretch here too. So pressing in a big toe and pinky toe mound, pressing back through that heel, letting that right hip drop slightly. Good, a micro bend in the elbows, pressing that floor away. Coming forward. Good, left arm, right leg lifts. We're holding and we're breathing. We're pressing away. And we'll take that down. Taking that to the other side, left foot comes back. Pressing in big toe and pinky toe mound. Find that stretch. Let that left heel drop slightly. Coming back. Good, right arm, left leg lifts. Press that floor away. We're holding what we're breathing. Belly button is in. And we'll take that down. We're gonna alternate here. So left, right leg back, left arm forward and down. Right arm forward, left leg back and down. And opposite and down and opposite. So notice how the core in the front and the back side of the body have to fire up here to stabilize as you shift your weight from one side to the other. Good, and one more. Good, last side. And take that back, child's pose. Good, from here, just take a few rounds of cat-cow. You can do them slow. You can do them quicker. You can do some bends. Find a movement that would feel good to your body. And then from here, when you're ready, we're gonna come onto our back. So we're gonna work on some bridges here. 
And because upper body is more the theme today, not often thought of as an upper body exercise, but it is because getting this engagement prepares you for other things like rollovers, corkscrew, jackknife, all of those. So I want you to roll your shoulders back. I want you to press the shoulders, the back of the arms, elbows, hands into the floor. Hips, knees, and toes are gonna track here. Good, big inhale, exhale as you press that upper body and arms into the floor, lift up into that bridge. And lowering straight down. Inhale, exhale, pressing up. And lowering down. Now, if you're not used to engaging the upper body and the arms here when we do this, notice how that makes a difference when you do your bridge. Rock that pelvis back, peel up one vertebrae at a time, pressing upper body and arms into the floor. From the mid back to the rib cage, to the lumbar, to the tailbone, we'll roll it down. Tip the pelvis back, peeling up, tailbone, lumbar, rib cage, mid back. Let's hold it up here. Yeah. And maybe we really engage the hips and we pick up the right leg. And then the left leg. And the right leg. And the left leg. And keep going here for a few. We're working core, front and back side of the body. This is a little bit of a balance challenge. We're also working on that upper body strength, pressing shoulders, arms, hands into that floor. Woo! And when you're ready, both feet down. Could you lift just a little bit higher? And from the mid back to the rib cage, to the lumbar, to the tailbone, bring that all the way down, bring the knees into the chest, rock, 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 side to side. All right, let's get into some pelvic clocks here. So I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm just gonna pull my shirt out from under me. And I'm gonna take my arms out to the side just so it's easier for you to see what my pelvis is doing. But think about a clock. So your belly button is 12, pubic bone is six, your left pelvis is three, and your right pelvis is nine, okay? So from here, belly button is in nice and tight. Good, rock your pelvis back to 12. Inhale, take it to six. Exhale, 12. Inhale, six. Exhale, 12. Now, notice when you rock it back to 12, you should start to feel a deeper engagement right below the navel, between the navel and the pubic bone. I want you to think about that sensation, feel that sensation when we start to go into the clock. So from here, rocking the pelvic back, pelvis back, we're in 12. Good, very small movement. Pelvis goes to three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. And pause, take it to nine, six, three, 12, nine. Six, three, 12, nine, six, three, 12, nine, six, three, 12. Rock, rock back and forth. Let head and neck rock with you, reminding you everything's connected. Whew. All right, let's take this up into some chest lifts. First chest lift, feet are gonna be grounded. Arms are coming up and over up here. Let's just do a little exercise. So protraction, reaching forward. Retraction, take it back. Protraction, protraction, think about pushing something away from you. Retraction, taking it back. Protraction, retraction. If you think about this in terms of sternum drops, you're pressing away, you're dropping down, pressing away, dropping down, same purpose, good. Arms up, zip up through that front body from pubic bone to behind the navel, big inhale. Exhale, nod the chin. Reach, 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 look to the thighs. Arms are long and low, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, lower that down. This time, knees and tabletop if you can, knees over hips, shins parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, C curve it up, reaching up, 
Reach, reach, reach. If you're lifted, could feet, knees, thighs be together. And we'll lift and we'll lower down. Some of you will keep your legs here. Some of you, when you lift, you're gonna take your legs to your diagonal. We're gonna go right into 100. So from here, big inhale, exhale, taking it up. Taking your legs where you're gonna take them. Arms are long and low, relaxing the shoulders. Start pumping. And we inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, belly button in. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift upper body higher. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach deeper. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And hold. And bringing that down. Wiggle, 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 side to side. Ooh. All right, from here, we're gonna go into a little bit of a pinwheel, and then we're gonna come up and do some roll downs, roll ups, roll overs. So from this pinwheel, I'm just gonna take my knees, they're gonna be bent, and I'm just gonna roll over to my left side, which just happens to be the side that faces you. So think about stacking the hips here, so you don't have one knee behind the other. You wanna get that nice stack, and then your arms are gonna be stacked here as well. So belly button always in. I'm gonna drag that top arm back behind me. Good, and I'm gonna open. I'm gonna try to keep contact with the floor the whole time, looking behind. I've got props in my way. Good, and taking that back up and coming back. And we'll go again. One, two. And three. Good. Now, once you've brought this back in, we're gonna open and close. I'm gonna keep my eyes on this hand. So I'm just gonna open and close. And open and close and open. <coughs> Excuse me and close. Don't you hate it when you choke on your own saliva? Happens to teachers too. Okay, from here, when you're ready, I'm just gonna press up. I'm gonna roll, take my legs to the other side just so that my back is not to you. So as you come over here now, remember, you want your hips to be stacked. Your knees are stacked, okay? Arms are out in front. Top arm, we're gonna drag. Taking it back and open feels so nice. And taking it back to center. And here's two. And three. Belly button is still in. We're going into rotation. So you wanna protect that spine. Good. From here, here's open and close. I stay here, we're gonna open and close and open and close and open and close good job from here press yourself up we're going to go into those roll downs and roll ups and roll overs so different things for different people take it to your level so Maybe if you're more of a beginner, or this is a hard one, this is a hard one for me, even after several years of practice, maybe you're starting with bent knees, hands to the thighs, you're rolling back to your limit, and then rolling back up. Maybe you release, rolling back to your limit, keeping the C curve, and coming back up. Maybe legs are long when you do that, coming back, and rolling back up. Maybe you can roll all the way back down. Some of you from here are gonna roll over to your side, come to a seat, practice the roll down. Others, maybe you roll up here. So big inhale, exhale. Ooh. And coming forward. So I do not do a pretty one. Those of you that have followed me for a while, I am a work in progress. Ideally, the legs stay grounded on the floor and you come up through center. Now I have a tendency to veer to the left side because that's where my strength is. Also why that's my tighter side. And I'm gonna roll all the way forward. 
And I'm gonna roll all the way back. As I come back, I'm gonna prepare for that roll over. So again, think about that engagement that we had in bridging. Could you press as you come back there? Good, legs open, shoulder width apart, and rolling that down. And rolling forward, and rolling back. This is also a work in progress for me. I'm strong in the upper body, but I'm still working on that strength. For my inversions. All right, and take that forward. We're gonna do one more here if you want to, or stay here. So choose yours. All right, from here, when you're ready, we're going to roll that back down. And we're gonna get some stretching in here. So I'm gonna put a bend in my left leg. I'm gonna take my hands behind my right leg. I'm gonna let them travel up as high as I can go. Good, you can keep a little micro bend in this knee. I'm gonna pull in here, good. And maybe point and flex to the foot. So remember, pain, numbness, tingling, burning are not normal. And maybe roll that foot around. And then in the other direction. Good. From here, you can release a little bit. Where your right hand goes depends on where you can reach. So some of you can grab a toe, a foot, somewhere outside of this leg. Be there where it is that you need to be. And then both hips and shoulders will stay grounded as you take that leg out to the right. Now, if your left hip is popping up here, your right leg is too far to the right. So you don't wanna take it out as far. And different things for different people as well. You know, some people taking it straight out to the side is not your sweet spot. Maybe you need to kind of wiggle around a little bit to find it. Okay. Good. we'll bring that leg back up. Good, from here, I'm gonna lengthen my other leg. I'm gonna take my left hand somewhere on the outside of this leg. This leg can be long or bent. Today, I'm gonna do a bendy one. My right arm's gonna be out to the side and I'm gonna rotate, I'm getting a twist and I'm getting an IT band stretch on the outside of this leg as I twist to my left. I wanna try to keep the right shoulder grounded and look to the right. And when you're ready, we'll bring that back in. You can keep your left leg long or put a little bend in it, take your right leg up. You can take both arms out to the side here or down, be where you're stable. Good, and I'm gonna let you choose today. So you can take little circles or big ones. Big ones are harder, so make sure you've got the stability in the core to do that if that's where you're gonna go. Hips stay grounded. We're gonna go one, two, Three, four, five, and six, and reverse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Right leg comes long or a little bend in it. Take your hands behind the left leg. Let them travel up as high as they can go. Give a tug in, breathe here, a point and a flex to the foot if you like or want that. Good. Maybe take that into some circles. And maybe reversing circles. And then when you're ready, just like the other side, find a grip where you need it. And then you can let that leg come out to the side. Both hips, both shoulders stay grounded. 
And it's okay to move around to find your sweet spot. And when you're ready, good. We'll bring that back up. Good. Now you can have a long leg or a bending in the knee. I'm going to bend the knee. I'm going to take my other leg long here. So my left hand is going to come on the outside of that leg. Good. And I'm going to rotate, taking that to the right, looking to the left. My left arm is out to the left, both shoulders grounded. And when you're ready, we'll come back in. Good, going into that leg circle now. So right knee can be bent or extended long, be where you're comfortable, big circles or small circles. And when you're ready, we'll go six, five, four, three, two, belly button is in, and one, and reverse, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bringing those knees in. We're going to go into rolling like a ball. If that's not for you, come over to your side, coming up to a seat. I'm going to lift up. Good. Remember when you roll like a ball, don't roll back on your neck. And we'll go one, two, three, and four. Coming all the way up. And we're gonna take that right back down. We're gonna go right into series of five here. So I'm gonna take my arms up. Good, my knees are in tabletop. Inhale, exhale coming up. My left hand is to my right knee, right hand to right ankle, left leg is long and a hover. Inhale, exhale, and two, three, four. This is single leg stretch, five, Six, seven, eight. Good. Take it up. Single straight leg stretch. Go one, two. We're still in a C curve. Three, four. Eyes are to the thighs. Five, six, seven, and eight. Double leg stretch. Inhale. Exhale one. Exhale two, exhale three, exhale four, exhale five. Legs are together. Exhale six, exhale seven, exhale eight. Woo! Take it up, double straight leg stretch. Inhale, exhale one, exhale two. Exhale three, exhale four, exhale five, exhale six, exhale seven, exhale eight. Knees bend, hands behind the head. I'm gonna come down for just a moment. Good, going into our crisscross, lead with the shoulder, not with the elbow, hips stay stable. And we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo. Taking that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. From here, when you're ready, we're going to take another little rock here. Big inhale, exhale, go one, two, three. Come up there. Woo. Take your legs out to the side. Lengthen the spine, hinge forward. Just getting nice little stretchy here. It's 
So we're going to go to open leg rocker here. So this is upper body control too, because we don't want to come back beyond our scapular spine here. So different things for different peoples. Rock, if rocking is not your jam, you're going to find a balance. So maybe you just are here. Maybe you take one leg or maybe two legs out. Good. Those of us that are going to rock, lengthen, roll that spine back. And we got one and two. Hello, plant. Three, four, five. Could we do six? Woo, take it up, hold, hold, hold. And take that down. We're gonna come back on our back here one more time. Let's do that through a roll down. Good. So I'm going to sit on my hands, but you don't have to. It just, for this little variation of what we're gonna do here, it just feels better on my back when I do that. And I'm gonna roll my shoulders under a little bit here too. I'm gonna take my legs up. We're gonna do some corkscrew variations here. So I'm gonna demo this in the pendulum with legs long. If you need to be bent knees today, um, keep your knees bent. And when we start to move around with the hips, you can keep your knees bent there as well. So from here, big inhale, exhale. Good. Now I'm going to take this over. I'm going to reach, coming up, going through center. I'm going to start making an infinity sign here with my legs. Arms and upper body are grounded. The lower you go, the harder it is. Well, let's reverse that direction. Woo! Good, bringing that back in. From here, you can roll over to your side. You can roll up like a ball. You can do a roll up variation. Oh, Ooh. still veering through that left and fold forward. Okay, cross the legs together. We're gonna come forward here. We're gonna come belly down. Okay. Getting back into some upper body and some back work. So legs are going to be about hip width part here. I'm going to take my hands forward into the side of the shoulders. My belly button is in nice and tight. I'm lengthening a little bit with the low body, but not so much that my back gets involved. And so then from here, rolling shoulders back, I'm going to lift. So maybe you keep a baby swan. Maybe you come up into a high swan. Okay, be where you need to be. Shoulders are back in their pockets, not up here and we're not hanging down here, okay? We're gonna do six of these, inhale, exhale, exhale, and three, two, and one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll take that down, good. Arms are forward, we'll come into swimming. Palms can be down or facing each other, you choose. From here, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. I'm gonna lift a little bit. Alternate arm, alternate leg. You can keep this slow. You can pick it up a little bit. Breathe. Breathe. And take that down. Recover with the hands, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's take this into a quad stretch while we're down here. So I'm gonna just lift up a little bit. My left arm is here. I'm gonna bend my right leg. I'm gonna reach back, grabbing that left foot ankle pants or leg, whatever you need. And I'm gonna start by lengthening from hip to knee. And for some people, that's gonna be enough. Others can squeeze that glute and lift just a little bit here. Breathing, breathing. Big finales coming up here. And taking that down. Good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle coming down. We'll take that to the other side. 
Good. So my right arm's going to be here. I'm going to bend that left knee. I'm going to reach back and grab something. For some people, that might be enough. Maybe you can lengthen from hip to knee. Maybe you can squeeze that gluten lift. So also be mindful, belly button is in. We don't want to crunch the spine here as well. And we'll release. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's take the hands under the shoulders. Press back, give yourself a child's pose. And let's really round this child's pose if you can. After that extension, that'll feel good. All right, are we ready for that plank work? Here we go. We're gonna come forward. We're gonna start with the forearm plank. So I'm gonna take my forearms down. Your knees can be grounded or you can lift here. And my shoulders are over my um, elbows or behind them. Whenever you're ready, belly button in. Here we go, we're gonna lift. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, could you move a little bit forward and a little bit back without collapsing? A little forward, a little back, a little forward, a little back, a little forward, a little back. Take that down, take a break. Side planking with the forearms. There are different ways you can do this and it all really depends on how you feel. So I like to come into my side plank by starting here and then coming to the side and coming here, okay? Knees can be lifted or grounded. Some people need to be more here with knees bent and then coming up here for a side plank or finding that lifted side plank here. So be where you need to be. Remember, we don't wanna hang in the shoulder like this. We wanna be nice and supported. So whenever you're ready, big inhale, exhale. We're gonna side plank on the left side. Left side, forearm plank, well, maybe. Breathing, breathing, taking that down, good. Taking it to the right side, knees lifted or grounded. Be strong and stable in the shoulder. And taking that down. Find a child's pose and rest. Woo! Coming into a reverse table here. Some of you might be able to do this in reverse plank. I'm gonna cue people through reverse table though. So your fingers, you'll see in pictures, fingers facing this way. I mean, as long as shoulders, elbows are doing the same thing, this doesn't always feel comfortable to me. So I kind of go out a little bit to the side, do what feels comfortable to you. Knees are going to be about hip width apart. Good, find your table. Good. Now, those of you that are here, this is where you need to be. We're gonna march right here, okay? Some of you can take your legs longer and lift your legs. That's really, really hard. It's hard for me to do without doing funny things to my knees. So I'm just gonna be right here. Belly button is in. I'm pressing that floor away. Good, and we'll take that down. Legs forward, reach, and come forward. Woo All right, let's give planks a little bit of a break. Let's come to side kneeling. So I'm gonna come here. You can always bring in a knee cushion if you need that as well. I'm gonna bring in my block because I have short arms because I'm a short person. So from here, good. If you're gonna use a block as well, this hand, your block is gonna be on this side. This knee, this left knee is the knee that we're gonna balance on. So I'm gonna take my right leg out here. Good. When you're ready, good. We're going to find it. Be nice and strong in the front. Be strong in the back. Good. From here, we're going to come forward and back and forward and back and forward and back 
and forward and back and circle. And circle. Woo. Reach, reach, reach. Could you get a little bit of a stretch? Maybe the toe comes down as you stretch. And coming back. We'll take that to the other side. So just move your block over if you're using that. Good. So blocks on the same side as the supporting knee. Good. I'm going to take my left foot out. Good. Coming in. Good. Left, find your stability before you do any movement. And then here we go. Front and back. Hips stay stable. Front, back, front, back, front, back. No circles. Belly button is in. We're not flapping around like a fish. We're stable throughout. And let's reverse the circle. And when you're ready, good. Maybe we reach, 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 reach. And taking that down. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna come to plank, side planks and a little bit of a twisty here. So coming back to all fours, find an up plank. Now remember, you can always modify your up plank here by coming to the knees. Good, from here when you're ready, I'm pressing away. Right leg lifts, hips stay even. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip. Right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip. Taking that down. <sighs> Maybe bending and stretching. All right, here goes it. Moving into the side plank stuff. So from here, when you're ready, taking it back. I am going to move over to my left side. Knee can come down if you need it. Move through center, take it to the right. Move through center, here's the change up, take it to the left. Maybe you can lift an arc. Maybe you can lower into a hover and lift and rotate and reach and coming up and lower and reach, reach, reach. Woo! Taking it over, reset center, I know it's hard. So we'll take it over this way. Good. Lifting up an arc. And take it down. And lift. And reach and scoop. Coming back up. Lower down. Lift. Take it back. Find that plank. And lower down. Child's pose. Great work, everybody. That was not an easy set. And those of you that are looking for a little bit more challenge with that one, you can pause this video and do a few sets of that from side to side and see how you feel. So from here, when you're ready, we're gonna push up two ways. So remember, you can do push-ups on all fours. You can do push-ups back on the knees. You can do push-ups up high. I'm gonna do this first one on all fours. This is gonna be tricep push-ups. So elbows are gonna come straight back. I'm gonna count to eight. But if two really good ones is all you can do, stop right there. Big inhale, exhale. Well, actually inhale lower, exhale lift. Seven, shoulders are stable. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that back, child's pose. So now we're gonna go more into the chesty push-ups for this one. Good, fingers, elbows, shoulders are gonna turn in slightly. Elbows are gonna come out to the side. You can do it on all fours, knees grounded or lifted up. If you're lifted, remember you only need to come down halfway. You don't need to come all the way to the floor. But from here, inhale, 
Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm gonna fight for one. Woo! That was challenging taking that back. Woo! All right. Let's come to a seat here. Let's find some stretches again. Arms out to the side. Let's just rotate again. Finding breath. Nice, strong practice. Good. Arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Turning palms away and come down. Good. Let's go into a little body wave here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, the next time we come forward, round, clasp the hands, press away. Coming back up, reach, reach, reach. Release the hands, touch the palms together, bend the elbows, stretching those triceps. Taking it forward, good. My right arm is forward. My left arm's gonna come underneath. I'm gonna come across. And release, left arm's forward. Right arm's gonna come underneath. Pull across. Taking that big inhale, exhale, gentle side bend to the left. Moving through center, gentle side bend to the right. And coming back center. Way to go. You made it through this challenging Pilates mat work class with lots of planking and upper body work. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.